Max Rich here, and in case you were wondering, that is a song called Master Blaster by Stevie Wonder. Uh, and this song is sort of like Stevie Wonder's take on a classic Bob Marley hit called Jammin'. Um, very famous song, I'm sure you all uh, probably know both of them, because they're both super famous. Um, but this song, uh, especially for us guitar players, has a lot of different elements that it can teach us. Um, for example, you know, a lot of people think, oh, reggae is like an easy thing to play, and it's not necessarily easy as far as um, a feel goes. And when, when I talk about feel, I don't necessarily mean like how it feels to play guitar. What I mean is the actual, um, the, the rhythm and the placement of where you play in, in uh, you know, in respect to where the beat is. Um, for example, when you're feeling this kind of a groove, right, you really need to feel this song on the two and the four, and that's one thing that a lot of guitar players suffer with, um, or it's a lot, something that a lot of guitar players don't do. A lot of guitar players tend to feel things on one and three, so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, um, as opposed to feeling things on the two and the four, which is really, like, I want to say, <laughs> absolutely necessary for reggae, a lot of jazz and R&B, and um, even pop music, right? So instead of this, like, one, three, one, three, instead of that, you have, like, mm, two, four, two. And by feeling things on the two and the four, you instantly get a sense of swing, and that's where swing comes from, is feeling the two and the four, which is why when people count in, they'll go like one, a two, a one, two, three, four, one, and see them snapping on the two and the four, because that resembles the snare hit. So if I'm playing, if I'm like doing like a, a rhythm, one, two, And so being able to feel everything on the two and the four will, number one, instantly make you swing if you can do it. But if you've never done it before, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, and it's going to seem like, oh, it should be super easy. But uh, before we start the lesson, I want you to just try right now, pick a song that you're comfortable with that you know how to play. And then grab your metronome and find the tempo. So if the tempo is, let's say, 100, okay, and that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't know if this is actually 100, but let's just say that it is, right? Um, so if this is the tempo and it's an arbitrary 100 beats per minute, cut it in half. So instead of this, you have this. And instead of making this one, two, three, make this, this make the snap two, four, two, four, two, four. And then try to play your song with the metronome only hitting on beats two and four. See if you could do that. Uh, if you can, well, props to you, because a lot of guitar players can't do it their first time around. But if you can't, this lesson is exactly right for you. And so in addition to working on this ability to swing and, a, and an ability to play with feel on the two and the four, we're going to also work with some really cool pentatonic licks that are uh, very Stevie Wonder-esque. You know, you heard one of them in the intro there. Uh, so I'm going to show that one, plus there's like a big long one at the end of it um, that I'll show you as well. So lots of stuff coming your way, so... Don't go anywhere. 